our beast of speakers. I got the sub over there. Bros, welcome back to the storage. I have a little problem to address in this video. Unfortunately, my storage unit has become a bit of a mess. And today, I wanna address that. As you guys can see, there is stuff everywhere. What was once a beautifully organized dream of DJ equipment has just become another storage locker. It's a mess in here. I got bins that I bought to hide all the Christmas stuff from my house. I got a tool box laying in the middle got my ddj srt there actually it's not even in the box it's over here i have to put it back because i made a video and i needed to take it out to get some b-roll the parts department has become a mess so i'm thinking about getting rid of these just because they don't hold up very well i took these out of my house and uh basically i'm thinking about using these instead and swapping those out i would have liked it if they were matched these i've been trying to find more of these but i can't find any also if you guys saw my daily videos in December I bought a bunch of new DJ gear so I have a bunch of new speakers which I just kind of tossed up there and then I have bought a bunch of new cables which are just over there that I just don't need uh, I got a new facade it's just, it's just a lot there's just stuff everywhere and I hate it I hate it hate it hate it hate it I've always been kind of a neat freak and it's just been bothering me so in today's video we are going to go in and organize all this equipment I want to do some rearrangement as well so we're gonna take care of that now by the way if uh, any of you guys have photo booth can you guys tell me a good case to uh, store the RX-1 media. Um, I found this little Harbor Freights one here, but it's still a little bit cramped. Uh, let's find out actually if it got smushed. Uh, I put it in this little Harbor Freights one. I'm looking for a bin about this size. I'm looking for a nice bin to keep my spare media. As you guys can see, it doesn't close right, so I have to kind of smush it in. So if you guys have a cool container or a case like this, let me know down in the comments below. The first thing I do want to address is the lighting. Lately, I've been filming a lot of videos inside of my storage unit and I want to fix the lighting as you guys can see here the lighting is uh it's not too bad here but if I take a step up it just gets darker and darker and I need to fix this I need to fix this to make it more even this light also causes a bit of flicker on the camera you probably can't see it now but when I'm editing I do notice that there's a bit of flickering happening with this light and I know it's this light because I've had this issue with this light before I bought another one of these shop lights and we're gonna put another shop light over here so this is the light right here it's actually this exact same one it costs about 30 bucks i bought it on amazon nice little great shop light if you guys have a storage unit and you guys need some light highly recommend these you can easily place this in the top of your storage you can drill them in you can velcro them in like i did like you guys see i just took some velcro and there was a strap running there so i just kind of took some velcro and hung it up there this one i actually used a clamp i don't know if you guys can see but there's a little clamp there that i used that's much better what do you guys think I think the lighting in here looks a lot better uh, it's still a little bit shadowy here but I usually shoot going this way and yeah I can already tell the difference wow look at this this is so clear back here back here yeah I think this looks great uh, I did go out and get another one from Harbor Freight uh, the Amazon ones are a little bit better because they have two the Harbor Freight only has one but uh, looks good regardless so thumbs up for that all right next up let's take care of these shelves unfortunately these shelves are uh, hanging on for dear life um, I've been <sighs> I've had so many companies send me speakers over the last couple of years. Um, sometimes I get rid of them, sometimes I keep them. I usually keep them for at least a year uh, and decide what I'm gonna do with them. But if I go a year without using them, then I just end up selling them. The ones that I really like, I end up keeping. Like obviously these Martin Audio ones, these are beast of speakers. I got the sub over there, but um, they're heavy. And I don't think these shelves were designed to bear the weight of speakers. So I went out and bought me a couple other shelves, as you guys can see here. Those are uh, same thing as these guys are the same size. They're about 48 inches in width. But 
there are these styles. As you guys can see, these are uh, way more heavy duty. So right now I'm gonna drag this one out. I'm gonna assemble the new one. Then I'm gonna go shove the new one in here and see how that looks. I also gotta go through all those crates and figure out what I wanna keep, but I wanna toss out. There's just a lot going on, guys. A lot going on to take care of. So check it out. This is what it looks like. I just finished setting it all up. I did end up with a bit of a battle scar setting this thing up, but this is it. I will say I'm not too happy about the legs. They're a little bit flimsy. These brackets are not as tough as these ones. Look at these ones. These are hardcore. This is supposed to hold 800 pounds. However, because I don't put a leg here on the bottom, these legs are a little bit flimsy. I know they're meant to have a leg here on the bottom. I did, however, reinforce it on the sides as well as on the back. So it should be pretty good. It's just these outside legs next up I'm gonna get rid of this one right here I'm gonna reorganize all of these drawers get rid of all those speakers down there I'm gonna go through those bins figure out what I need what I don't need Check, check it out. This is what the new shelves look like. They're a little bit deeper, so I have a little bit more room to work with. Uh, they're about this much deeper, about I would say about six inches deeper than the old ones. And uh, I love the way it came out. Look at this. Looks so much better. It looks so much sturdier, and I have way more room for stuff up there. All right, bro. So this renovation, reorganization of my storage unit is uh, taking a little bit longer than I thought. We are now on day two, and now I'm gonna break this one down and then these boxes are gonna move on top of the new one that we're gonna put over here these speakers are going to live up there now because uh, I have so many speakers and speaking of speakers Mackie sent me a brand new set of unreleased speaker uh, now there is an embargo on these speakers so I'm not technically allowed to talk to you guys about them um, the embargo lifts on January 18th so I've decided to upload this renovation reorganization of my storage unit a little bit late it's january 4th or 5th today really excited about these speakers look at them they're uh 1600 watts class d amplifier custom high efficiency transducer to ensure maximum clarity xxbl of 133 that's pretty damn loud also it has built-in bluetooth so that's pretty cool um pretty cool speakers i will be doing a review on these speakers sometime soon definitely some pretty dope speakers i should have already made the review by the time you're watching this video so i'll link it up above i'll unbox these uh maybe at the end of this video right now let's get back to work All right, bro. So check it out. This is uh, this is it. <laughs> it has now been officially like uh, 10 days since I started on these uh, remodel, rebuild, reorganize process of my storage unit. I started on January 2nd. It is now January 14th and uh, it took quite a long time just because it's been so busy. January is by far the busiest booking season and uh, you know I just kept deciding to do more and more things and it just started piling up. I decided to reorganize all my drawers over here. And it just it just took forever, but let me give you guys a quick tour So I've moved some of the stuff that was previously up here to make room for all the speakers that we now have So now my Nimbus is now coincide where most of my ready-to-go stuff is This is pretty much the stuff we take out on a daily basis microphones cables cocktail speakers That stuff this stuff goes out with us on the regular Additionally, there's another uh, flight case that's supposed to be there But we have it here because we're gonna be unboxing some stuff in uh, just a few moments. Our parts department has been completely overhauled. I was looking for some more of these clear drawer things, but I couldn't find one. I've reorganized everything. You guys can see here we have all the tools 
Uh, these labels are wrong, so just ignore them. I do have to swap them. Here we have zip ties. In here we have tape. This is our miscellaneous one. That's like all the leftover stuff from gigs. Uh, in here, what do we have here? Oh, in here we have like little adapters. We got microphone clips. We got remotes for the lights. We got tripod mounts. So a ton of uh, parts, I would call this. And then here on the bottom, we have uh, a bunch of baggies and stuff for organization. Over on this side, uh, we have all our trussing stuff. So clamps, truss pins, and we have uh, truss joints there. Next up, we have all of our... What are these things called? Ratchet straps, that's what they're called. And up here we have all our manuals and things of that nature. Moving here are yellow boxes. This is just storage. I was able to throw out a bunch of stuff that I did not need. So now I have way more. I'm also gonna get rid of these uh, big ones and I'm gonna get three of these smaller ones so it's a little bit more concise. Also, found this American flag that I had in uh, one of these drawers. So I decided to pull it up there. We got this nice American flag for decoration i always do my best to keep the drugs sex and alcohol out of the shell but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my uh my little calendar that i keep in here for inspiration this is jamie she's me's january she keeps me company while i'm in here making videos up here pretty much remains the same except that i moved all my speakers up top down here is the only spot i have for this 18 inch martin audio sub that goes with those martin audio speakers up top there i don't know what i'm gonna do with this thing i want to use it it's just that martin audio sent me uh a bit of a weird package to review they sent me one of each so technically i have like everything i just don't have a set like i don't have two 15s i don't have two 12s i have one one and one over here i'll be honest i still have to go through all this stuff yeah i just don't have enough time i really just wanted to clear up all the space that was being taken up by all the packages aside from that i am so so happy that we finally have some room to get back in here and start filming some videos and uh it's just good and i love the cleanliness i love organization organization is everything welcome to an impromptu mail time video here's the mail it never fails it makes me want to wag my tail when it comes i want to well let's whip out our handy dandy box opening shank ah! So I got two packages here. They're both from Hosa Technology. As you guys know, Hosa is my go-to company when it comes to cables of any type. I'm talking power cables. I'm talking XLR. I'm talking DMX. I'm talking everything in between. Hosa is sponsoring a big video that we have coming up, and it's going to require a ton of cables. Box number one looks like this is the power cables that we're going to need for the video. This video is going to take quite a bit of work. It's going to take a lot of stuff. Hosa has also sent us some Velcro, Velcro ties. They've also sent us DMX terminators for our lighting. Stuff for our flight case here. Box number two. So I'm not sure how well you guys can make this out, but as you guys can see, this video is going to require a ton of cables. So in here is pretty much a detailed list. It's a two-part list, actually. It continues all the way to here as well. These are the Hosa gloves. Let's go ahead and uh, try them out. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is it. Hosa rigging gloves. Look at that. Look at how awesome they are. They're so dope. This is one of my favorite pieces that they sent over. This is a 100 foot extension power cord and it's black and the gauge on this is like what, 12? XLR cables, check. HDMI cables, check. Power con cables, check and check. Hosa really did come through for us, holy crap. All the cables are all here for this video. This video is gonna be huge, guys. Be on the lookout for it. All right, now let's do what you guys all came here for the Mackie speaker. So a few days ago, Mackie reached out to me and asked me if I would make a video on their brand new speakers, the SRT line. The SRT line is composed of uh, four speakers, 10, a 12, a 15, which is the one that we have here, and an 18-inch sub. Prices for these are around 500, 600, 700, and 800, respectively, for each one. I have the, uh, the 15s. If I go ahead and bring these up closer, 
sure uh, you guys can kind of see them here. We got the 10, the 12, the 15, and the 18. And yes, this is the one that cost 700. So five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Keep in mind that this is not the official review of these speakers. This is just the initial unboxing, first look of these brand new speakers. This line is brand new to Mackie, so I really don't know what to expect from it. Now let's go ahead and unbox these bad boys. <laughs> Something to note: big thing with these speakers is the fact that they do feature uh, app control, which allows you to equalize the speaker to your liking via their app. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Aki has definitely stepped up their game when it comes to the aesthetics, the design of their speakers, because man, this is a beautiful, beautiful looking speaker. Huge LED here on the bottom. Can't wait to see what that looks like when it's on. Let's take a look at the back here. We have our DSP rotary knob to control the menu functions. We have two channels and a third input channel with, I will note, an eighth inch input, which is pretty cool. Our two main channels here feature both quarter inch and XLR dual inputs, as well as mix out for both. This is uh, not heavy at all. This is a pretty light speaker. It is a plastic speaker. It's not made out of wood, which is good if you're a mobile guy. Let me grab my Mackie uh, thump that I bought myself. By the way, the Mackie thump video has nothing to do with this video. They reached out to me after I made that video, so keep that in mind. This is the thump. This is their entry level speaker and I'm assuming that's going to be something a little bit higher end because for this speaker I paid 600 for two which means it's only 300 bucks. That speaker over there costs 700 bucks. So it's, uh, it's a big jump coming from this little guy to that little guy there. Alright my friends and that concludes this video. Like I said I'm working on a review for this video. It's probably already out on my channel. I'll link it up in the card above so you guys can go check it out. I want to send a huge shout out to my friends over at Hosa Tech as well as my friends at Mackie. Bros, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified when all the new videos come out. Signing off, DJ Bar, stay awesome, bros. Peace.